If you're like me and you want to stop paying for Netflix, I highly recommend you get your own server and it's super easy to do. So what I did was I had a computer that I already owned and then I just added what's called Jellyfin to it. And that's a software that tells your computer, hey, this folder in your computer is gonna have your movies in it and then that can stream to your TV, your tablets, your laptop, whatever. So what I did was I installed Jellyfin as a server on that laptop, but it went kaput soon after that because it's an old laptop. So I ended up buying this mini PC right here. It has 16 gigs of RAM. And what people were recommending is that it had at least an N100 or better processor. So I got the 150. And now I just have this little box as my server or my Netflix in my home. And so I can have it to my son's TV right here. I can have it to the TV in our living room, the tablets, the computers, whatever. It's just an app that you download and that you can then stream to. So in summary, I'm telling the computer, hey, whenever the device like my TV wants to go get movies, it's gonna be in this folder. And so it grabs all those movies. I have like 250 right now. And then it will put that on the TV. And what you can also do for parents, you can have restrictions. So you get to log into accounts and maybe only the guest account can watch these movies or the kids account they can only watch these TV shows and you get to choose what each account has access to. So yeah, highly recommend you stop paying for Netflix, Hulu, etc. and just start buying your own physical media and then rip it and put it onto your computer. For example, I have this drive right here that you can just plug into your computer and then you can use make MKV, which makes it an MKV file. And then you can use handbrake to then make it a smaller file and and then put it onto your computer. So instead of a movie being five gigs, now it is 500 megabytes. So you have like 10% of what the file was and you don't lose much quality. It's pretty much the same looking. Getting back to the mini PC, what's cool about it is it has two HDMI ports. It has four 3.0 USBs, an ethernet cable, and a headphone jack if you really wanted to use that. It also came with a mounting plate, which I don't think I'm gonna use yet, but ultimately I went from this huge laptop like this is a monster to maybe the size of a mac mini like it's very small you could think of like a bookshelf end something that holds up your books so if you're like me and you want to get rid of these monthly subscriptions that keep getting more expensive i highly recommend looking into making your own server and if you'd like more information on that let me know in the comments down below but i'll have everything that i use for my home server in the description if you wanted to do the same so let's take a closer look at this mini pc so as for my mini PC setup, I have the GMK Tech mini PC. This is 16 gigs RAM. That is the Intel M150 processor. Did some research and they recommended N100 or better. So I got the N150. Has two USBs in the front. These are 3.0. Got the power button here. On the back of the mini PC, we have the power, and this is just connected to an outlet. We get two HDMI ports, so one here, the other here, and then two USBs in the back as well, and they're both 3.0. We also get an ethernet cord, if you want to connect that, and some headphones right there. I have the Seagate five terabyte hard drive right here. So while this has 500 gigs storage, I'm still able to have an additional 500 terabytes, which is super helpful whenever you have a library of movies and TV shows. I also have a DVD reader and burner, so we can have DVDs we own and put them on the computer. And for that, I recommend MKV to burn to a digital file. It'll make an MKV file, and then you can go to Handbrake and that will make it a smaller file without losing too much quality. And so that way, instead of making it a five gig movie, maybe it's 500 megabytes. As for where I'm gonna host my movies, I recommend Jellyfin because I was using Plex and now they are charging for just basic stuff that Jellyfin's gonna offer for free. So I switched over there, it's the same process. So for example, I created two folders in my five terabyte hard drive here and we're able to have a movies folder a tv show folder and so we can click through movies here we can click through shows down here it's very simple and you can also access this on your computers your tv you can access it on your tablets this is so much better than Plex in my opinion, and that's why I'm gonna be sticking with Jellyfin for right now. Just a heads up, you will need a mouse and a keyboard to set this up. So if you're like me and you forgot about that and you need to order one, there'll be one in the description down below if you don't have one already. But after you have a mouse and keyboard to set it up, 
there's this icon down here where you can access a keyboard and just use your mouse. So now from my laptop, I can use remote access with Google. It's called Chrome Remote Desktop and I can control everything from my laptop and, and that way I no longer have to keep going back to that PC. So eventually I'm going to remove the screen it's on and it's just gonna be a server and I can access it just from the laptop and it's gonna be so much easier. So yeah, I can work everything from the laptop. The keyboard works with it when I'm using the Chrome remote desktop as well as the mouse. All right, that was the video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Are you going to have your own mini PC or do you have an old computer that you're not using that you want to attempt to have your own server on? Highly recommend you do that first before you buy a mini PC like me. That way you can just get started immediately. All right, that's all for now. Bye-bye.